Hello everyone, LZ1EBC here. I would like to show you how you can use uh, your SDR uh, for listening and operating CW, not only for a pan as a pan adapter. Most people use their SDR as a pan adapter uh, and they're listening to the audio of their uh, transceiver. If you want to use your SDR as a uh, uh, the receiver which you are listening to, you need some kind of switching of the audio paths. The problem is that when you start transmitting, uh, if you are listening to the SDR, you hear your transmission with a delay of 200 milliseconds and it's uh, very uh, annoying and distracting and in general it's not possible to, for me at least, it's not possible to transmit uh, uh, with my pedal. Uh, so what is needed is some kind of uh, switch. This one I'm using is from LZ1AQ SDR switch, uh, there are also others from ELAT for example. Uh, this one from LZ1AQ comes in two parts, one is the antenna switch, the other is the audio switch. The antenna switch is needed if you are going to use a common antenna, but if you don't, if you have two antennas or more, you don't need this uh, switch. Uh, however, the antenna, the audio switch is needed as it is uh, managing the audio pads. Uh, so what you have here is a uh, signal from the transceiver going in, signal from the SDR going in, and you have output, the, this is the, the audio which uh, the user will be listening to. Once the transceiver starts uh, transmitting, uh, the user is switched to the uh, transceiver audio, and when we are on receiving, the user is uh, listening to the SDR audio. Uh, and one uh, important detail is that when you are switched back to receiving, you want to have some delay, uh, which is equal to the uh, audio delay of the SDR. This delay can be anywhere from 200 to 500, even more milliseconds, depending on the on the software and the radio that the SDR that you're using. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you how it works. I will uh, reduce the delay to zero. So when I start transmitting now, currently, okay, I need to switch just the frequency what I'm listening here, okay. Uh, so I'm st when I transmit, I'm listening to the um, transceiver audio. I, when I stop transmitting, I'll be switched back to the SDR audio with no delay. And as you saw, there were some leftovers that I could hear from the transmission. And this we will uh, uh, eliminate with the help of this potentiometer here on the on the audio switch, I increase the delay with which will be switched back uh, to SDR audio, as you can see, here. still, okay, more delay, okay, now I I don't hear any of my transmission on the SDR. As you can see, the delay is, is quite big uh, for my setup here, but this can be reduced uh, with a few changes uh, on uh, the software side, but not important at the moment. It's for demonstration purpose. Uh, I've increased the delay so that you can see how it works. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Thank you very much, uh, 73 and uh, from LZ1ABC. Bye-bye.